come to you today just asking that if there be anything in any of our ways, Yahuwah, that you continue to cleanse us. Let this be a witness, Yahuwah, for, for those that are of, are of adulthood, those that are children, be a witness to this. Let it be put on our spirits, let it be put on our hearts, let it be put in our minds to renew our ways. If there be any idols that cleave to us, Yahuwah, whether it be seen or unseen, we ask that it be purged. We ask that you be the purger and the deliverer. We ask that you send your Ruach with its swift word and its swift blade, and that it cut through every cell, every atom, every microscopic just being within our vessel, organ, vessel, anything. We ask that you cut through it and just purge it from our minds, Yahuwah. For brain cells, blood cells are all just small warriors, small soldiers within the one big temple of Yahuwah individually. And even as individuals, we are just spectrums of your huge body, Yahuwah. So we ask that you continue to just purge us, Yahuwah. For we all have our own exodus. We all have our own trials. We all have our own tribulations and our own ways that we perceive you and see you. But it's all leading to one goal. So we ask that this be a witness unto the four corners of the earth, Yahuwah. And we ask that anybody that may be passing by, see it as a witness and may inquire. And anyone that we continue to minister to, Yahuwah, we ask that you continue to be the voice for us. Continue to let Yahusha's ways, his thoughts that he got, that he was only given by you. We ask that it be continuously embellished in us and, and we continue to wear it same as we put our clothes on daily. And we ask that anyone we can't reach across the four corners of the earth, that you reach them now, Yahuwah, even before Missouri, and we're seeing prophecy being fulfilled before our eyes. We ask that in the spirit, spirit you stretch forth your arm beyond, beyond these ocean coasts, Yahuwah, mm -hmm. and touch anyone else that may be being plagued by these same trials, these same tribulations. We ask that your mighty hand reach out to them and touch them in this moment and that it be healed because Yahu, just like your son, Yahusha, when he came and there was the captain of the many that didn't want Yahusha to come to his house, for he had many under him, but he asked that it be spoken in that hour and in that same moment when he went back to the house, he saw that his son was healed and he knew that it was that moment that Yahusha prayed that it was healed. So let your arm be stretched forth, Yahuwah, to the four corners of the earth in that same manner. And anyone that may be going through anything like this, Yahuwah, that they may be healed. For you are great, Yahusha, Yahuwah. You are great. And you have made Yahusha great, Yahuwah, Yahuwah. And everything, everything that he did, he could only do it by your great power. So we ask that that great power be instilled in us as it was before and as it is today, and I would like to, and before I end this, I would, there's a, there's a scripture that I would like to read, and it, and, excuse me, Yahuwah, I have to open my eyes, for I have not fully revised it yet, but, um, it is the book of Sirach, chapter 4, and I'm going to start at, and I'm going to start that at verse 12, and it reads, He that loves her loves life, and they that seek her early shall be filled with joy. He that holds her fast shall inherit glory. And, and wheresoever she enters, Yahuwah will bless. They that serve her shall minister to the set apart one. And them that love her, Yahuwah loves. Whoso gives ear unto her shall judge the nations. And he that attends unto her shall dwell securely. If a man commit himself unto her, he shall inherit her. And his generation shall hold her in possession. For at the first she will walk with him or her by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her Torah. Then she will return the straight way unto him and commit him and show him her secrets. But if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. Observe the opportunity and be aware of evil. And be not ashamed when it concerns your soul. For there is a shame that brings sin, and there is a shame which is glory and grace. Accept no person against your soul, 
and let not the reverence of any man cause you to fall, and refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good, and hide not your wisdom in her beauty, for by speech wisdom shall be known, and learning by the word of the tongue, in no wise speak against the truth, but be abashed of the error of your ignorance. Be not abashed to confess your sins, and force not the course of the river. Make not yourself an underling to a foolish man, neither accept the person of the mighty. Strive for the truth unto death, and Yahuwah shall fight for you. Be not hasty in your tongue and in your deeds, deeds slack and remiss. Be not as a lion in your house, nor frantic among your servants. Let not your hand be stretched out to receive, and shut when you should repay. Hallelujah. Amen. And ETP straight out of Waikiki. I'm from a town everyone wants to see. Honolulu, Waikiki's my city. So what do you want from me?